Suburbanization is the growth of areas on the fringe of cities. It's one of many causes of the increase in urban sprawl. It had been possible for both suburbs and transport advancement. So why does it happen? There are certain push and pull factors that would have motivated people to move out of urban areas. The push factors would be it would be inconvenient to live in areas with little to no open space. Also, there's insufficient opportunities and low employment rates for the people in the area, which leads to the high chance of poverty, and for the citizens to have a bad lifestyle. In addition. Because of the high average of the population, traffic congestion and overcrowding are most likely to occur. Also, living in urban areas are less safer than living in suburban areas because crimes and traffic accidents are most likely to occur. So by moving outward towards the suburban areas, the citizens would have a lot of benefit. They'll have better services and have a better lifestyle. Also, there is no competitions for opportunities and jobs, which therefore significantly decrease the chance of poverty. There's more beautiful housing and advanced infrastructure, which. Increases the comfortability of the citizens living in these areas. About safety, it will be safer to to live in these areas because little to no crime or accidents will occur. In addition, there's a lot of green space and open space compared to the urban areas, so a lot of businesses and small factories could develop here. Businesses. Are also a reason for suburbanization to occur. The push factors would be the land near the CBD or urban areas are much more expensive than in suburban areas. Also, there's too much competition going on. With an example of suburbanization would be District Seven in Ho Chi Minh City. District Seven back then was just an abandoned piece of land, but throughout the time. A lot of people came in and invested in this piece of land, and developed it into the District Seven we know today. District Seven now can be considered as suburban because of various factors. It now has advanced services like schools, supermarkets, entertainment industries, and restaurants, etc. The housing or as Aesthetically pleasing to look and infrastructure aren't significantly damaged or causing any inconvenience for residents. There could be a lot of opportunities for unemployed workers to have a job here because there's a lot of different varieties of jobs, from being a waiter in a restaurant to being a simple businessman in an office. Also, most families and individuals own a transportation vehicle. Which greatly support them when traveling towards the CBD or District One to work. Lastly, although there's a presence of various apartments in the District Seven, the land price are slightly cheaper than apartments in District One. Counter urbanization is the process that whereby people move from urban areas to rural areas, which also similar to the suburbanization. The reason to counter urbanization is similar to suburbanization. One of the reasons are environmental problems. There's a lot of air pollution, noise pollution, and also water pollution within urban areas due to the constant interactions of humans and and the significant amount of factories built within the urban area. The next problems would be bid rent for houses and apartments, because the price are too high for some of the individuals to afford. Therefore, when migrating back to rural area, they could afford cheaper houses. The next reason would be it will improve communication technology in rural areas, and improve the transport links.
between rural areas and urbanized areas. So it will be more efficient for citizens to travel between these two areas. In addition, it will prevent overcrowding in urban cities because it would significantly decrease the population of that urban area. Lastly, the commercial activities and other businesses are attracted to counter urbanization as they expand, meaning that although they can move to the rural area, they can still have the same lifestyle as if they were living in urban area because these businesses and activities had came to that area in order to develop their business there and expand their economy. Segregation is the act of separating an individual or a minority apart from a majority because of the race, religion, class, or ethnic city. How has suburbanization led to the land use models we see today and urban segregation? By spreading outward, the city expands, becomes bigger and more complicated. Areas will become more specialized and less simple in order to more efficiently sustain the city, and thus will develop into city models where there are specific zones that are focused on specific functions like residential areas, industrial areas, CBD areas, and so on. With the expanding city and the areas becoming more specialized with their own areas, residential areas become separated and specialized as well, creating a case system, a caste system, for the residents and dividing them up based on their wealth, race, and so on. To what extent are ethnic minorities segregated within urban cities? They are both seen to be segregated into their own communities and also seen mixing with other residential areas. You see many areas where the racial groups are concentrated together in, into segregated communities like the map in Chicago where there is concentrated racial groups of blacks, Asians, and Hispanic areas that can be easily distinguished. However, in the map of London, even though there are groups of ethnic communities within the city, there is less of a complete concentration and there is a bit more of diversity in each space, having a bit of ethnic population everywhere. In conclusion, there is a definitely a segregation of ethnic minorities. Uh, there are some mixing and overlap of communities, but overall the areas are still divided up into races.